strength test between POR and regular spray paint. Okay, so here we have a piece of exhaust I painted with primer underneath the spray paint and top coated it with some SEM paint and on the POR side I used their metal prep as the primer and coated it with POR 15 glossy. I also, just to add, the entire piece of exhaust was degreased with purple zep, so it's nice and clean, we won't have any issues with paint falling off, and we can conduct our tests. So what I'm bringing over here are three different types of wire brushes. You've got your plastic which is the black one on the right in the middle there's copper bristles and on the left there is a uh, stainless steel bristles that'll be the toughest so we're going from softest to toughest bristle and uh, this is going to be our first test these uh, specific wire brushes are protected so it doesn't really matter what brand I just they were pretty cheap on Amazon, so why not, right? We're going to do the uh, spray paint side first here. I'm using a medium amount of pressure, nothing crazy. It's, once again, it's a very soft brush, so there isn't really too much scuffing on there, but you can kind of see it's dulling it out pretty fast. It's not that glossy look that you want already. I'm going to do it again on the underside. It's just lightly scratching it. Over here on the POR side, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. So there's not even any point. I wasn't getting any type of scratching, or scuffing, or anything. So now moving on to the copper bristles. Here's when we start kind of getting through the paint, you're getting real deep scratches, you can see the primer. And already that's that's no good. Water gets on there, it's gonna get under the paint and slowly just corrode. And these bristles are 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 kind of tough, but they're still pretty flexible. And uh, with little to no pressure I'm able to scratch right through that top coat there to the primer. Over here on the POR side. You gotta scratch it for quite a minute to even do anything. And there you see it's starting to lightly scuff, but it still has that nice gloss look to it, and nothing has gotten through. Still looks pretty good. See, there's bevels. I didn't really clean up the exhaust pipe it's uh, kind of rusted and and messed up but that's not the point of the test here I'm trying to see how well this paint holds up so don't mind that here we are with the stainless steel bristles on the spray paint side and that was no effort at all and as you can see in no time I just cut right through and uh, it's starting to scratch through the primer pretty easily all the way through the metal with little or no effort I'm going to keep on scratching it and you're going to see straight metal right under there. That went right through it and that took less than two seconds to do. Over here on the POR side, see how this holds up. Look at that. That is still not through the paint. That was a good five seconds of brushing. I think medium pressure to hard pressure. Here I'm gonna continue to scrub and see if I can get through the paint. It 
see scratches. It's starting to get rid of that glossy finish finally. And I'll just continue to, to press harder and go for longer and we'll see if we can get through to the metal here. Just barely. I don't even think that's not really all the way through to the metal. That's just scuffing it. Yep, it's still can't even feel it with my fingertips. There's scuffing, but no deep scratches. And of course, the most important part is the metal is protected. And that's gonna be that's gonna be a lot of the abuse it's gonna get. We'll see here with something even even stronger, uh, a steel pick. Wow! And that was that was no effort at all. Right through the paint, right through the primer, and I'm able to just scratch my my initial in there. See on the POR side. If I remember right, this was a lot more difficult. It slides over real easy because it's that nice smooth paint. It doesn't really dig in. You have to really, really get in there and put a lot of pressure into it, intentionally messing this paint up. And this goes beyond the uh, normal stress that frame paint would probably withstand. I mean, just look at that. There's a big difference. Didn't give way very easily. I think I was able to get some scratches that I could feel running my fingertips over it, but nothing compared to the spray paint side. this test I will be using a uh, Harbor Freight freaking heat gun. It couldn't even uh, label it the right side up. That's awesome. Um, pretty cheap so that's all I care about. It still works. Um, it's got all these settings here. Four degrees. I'm going to start on the lowest setting. Anywhere in that range. I'm not sure if it's accurate. Probably not. Right on the letter so it's easy to see what happens. Let this heat up a little bit. Nothing super visible. I was expecting some bubbling. Um, let's try the POR side and then we will uh, bump up the temperature. some bubbling on what looks like possibly both sides. For this one I'm going to bump it up to uh, around 700 degrees and we're going to set this timer for, let's do a full minute, we'll see what happens.
both sides look like uh, they did pretty well. I mean, this is exhaust. Anyways, I'm not so sure if I accurately heated it, but there you go. Not too bad. I've seen a lot worse. Both sides actually uh, handle this pretty well. And it uh, could also be that this is an exhaust pipe, so I mean, it probably can withstand some decent amount of heat. Okay, for this next test, we're gonna see how both of these paints handle uh, some thinner, some acetone. So, uh, I know POR, they say uh, if you're gonna spray it, not to thin it, so I'm not sure how it reacts with thinner, but uh, I mean, every paint's different. Spray paint side first. We're gonna do the end here. Pretty good, decent amount of pressure, and uh, let's see here. as you can see, just a little bit of dirt. But uh, if there was any paint coming off, it'd be pretty apparent here. Black paint, like on this one, all this black paint that came off of the spray paint side. So, looks like it cannot be removed with thinner or acetone. All right, well, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Learned a lot today about the pros of using POR. Once again, it's not UV resistant, so that's a test I didn't do because, well, we already knew that. Fades. Fades in the sun, so that's another shortcoming of it, but you can easily remedy that with a top coat. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. I didn't do voiceover for the second half. Just kind of experimenting with that. Not sure what I like more. I know you can hear me better on the voiceover. Just wanted a uh, short memorial for my S2K. Yesterday I actually ended up wrecking it. Not sure if it's totaled yet, but that's what it used to look like. 
And this is what it looks like now. So, RIP S2K. Gonna miss you. Thanks for watching.